as usual, as soon as I come down to work on the van, it absolutely pisses it down. Don't know if you can hear it. Uh, in terms of what I've actually done, I haven't done too much to the inside. Uh, if I'm honest, I can't remember what I put in the last video. But obviously I've got bits of insulation to still finish off. Uh, <clears throat> I've got I've got the lights to put back in the original holes. That that was where the blue lights were. So they'll be ooh, that's cold. Which is not surprising, it's actually raining. Uh, so yeah, I'm putting ambers in there. I love how the local plant life is starting to take over various things. Yeah, I need to get rid of that actually. It's quite funny how it's gone up the uh, cable, that, cable that I left for the uh, reversing cam. Uh, so yeah, I just uh, need to get rid of some of the shit that's in here. Get rid of all this wood that I've been keeping for various reasons. I don't know why. Um, finish off the insulation on the windows. Still got to finish off the stickers on this side of the van. Obviously on the outside, of course. So yeah, this is where I'm at after about seven months. But I've just not had as much time as I thought I would to work on the bloody thing. Work of obviously work has opened back up again you know we're all going we're all doing stupid shifts there so the only time that I have I spend bloody sleeping <laughs> done a little bit of tidying got rid of a few well most of the wood that I didn't really need I was just keeping just for the sake of it uh, I actually found this uh, a couple of months ago, bed slats, and measuring the length, it appears it's a standard double bed, or they were for a standard double bed anyway. So, because I'm having the bed that way, the planks need to be going across the van like that. Uh, and they'll be probably just below that handle there. Uh, and I just measured it on the van and, well, that's how much space I'll have after the bed on this side. So, I imagine these will be probably somewhere about there on on the van or something. With a mattress, it'll probably take it just to, just to that line there. So, tell you what, it'll be nice to have a double bed. This, uh, <clears throat> the current living arrangements that I'm in, it's, it's a single bed and it's bloody terrible. You roll over and you're on the floor, which is great. So yeah, pretty much all of this back section from about where I'm standing is going to be bed. If I'm honest, I didn't think it was that big. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Obviously, I have me overhead lockers. I don't even see the green things there and there. That's where the overhead lockers come down to. They were original with the ambulance, so may as well keep them. Because they're built like, I don't know, they're built like tanks. They are very over engineered. But that's a good thing. Uh, same on this side. See the uh, rivet nuts for the bottom of the cabinet so goes all the way to the end of the door and pretty much just behind this hole here so that would definitely be enough space above the bed uh, based on where I'm sat if I have the pillows here I'll, I'll likely put the telly under there somewhere and obviously I can watch TV in bed because uh, who wouldn't want to sit in bed and watch TV on the days off of course. <sighs> so, yeah, got a bit. Obviously, I've still got quite a fair bit of work to do. Uh, got to rip up this floor. 
I'm debating whether or not I should rip up the wooden the wooden uh, wooden bit wooden floor I guess that's under this floor that you can see just past my fingers don't know if I should rip that up and put new down um, or I may just play it by ear to be honest um, I can't imagine that floor will be too badly damaged unless there's been a leak at some point uh, the plan is to take the old steps out turn them into cupboards uh, well storage space like external lockers uh, and just get one of those uh, posh automatic pop out plumbing step things or failing that the cheaper way is just get one of those pull out ones but I don't know I don't like that to be honest uh, yeah so that steps going right, I'm gonna see if I can turn that into a external locker get rid of all that, that checker plate and the heavy step uh, same with the rear door I've never been able to open that so I think the mechanism is, is jammed so that that'll be something fun I've got to try and figure out um, just under all, all that crap there is actually where all of the hydraulics for this bloody ramp is so I'll probably have one big outside locker under there maybe have my water tank there or I don't know there's there's a fair bit of space under this van so I want on board gas eventually anyway uh want drinking water and grey water or black water whatever you call it um yeah so if effectively I want like a self-sufficient van I don't really want to be having to uh, stop somewhere to go for a shower or stop somewhere to go for a piss because that's that just seems pointless to me uh, and obviously I want all my mod cons in here so my TV maybe even my Xbox depending on the power usage um, Anyway, yeah, that's it. That's it for this one. Again, it's a very, very short one, but uh, the stuff that I'm doing is just taking bloody ages. Like the decals on the, on the side of the van. Oh, actually, I don't think I've showed you that yet. Uh, yeah, we got we got like what's this like half? I suppose half of the van. D stickered. I mean, obviously there's bits left, little white bits that, that can buff out with the uh, this weird rubber bloody wheel thing. Uh, yeah, so I've got bits to do. Still little bits I can buff out, as I was saying earlier. Uh, started on this door. I need to see about. Oh, good. This bloody paper so is away. Anyway, uh, and I see about taking that apart without losing all of the internal mechanisms so I can get to this slot. I oh, didn't see that. So I can get to this slot here. Uh, this quarter or this half is not as good, but slowly coming off. But it's it's just so much work. Like even if you get the actual reflective stickers off, you're left with this. So you've got to scrape it off again, which then leaves you with that. So then you've got to put a bit of blooming label remover on it, eat, eat all that away until you get to this. And yeah, various people have said, oh, use a, use a heat gun, use this kind of scraper. And I'm like, I've got a bloody heat gun. I've got a scraper. I've got label remover somewhere here. Yeah. It's just a, it's just a really slow process. <sighs> uh, yeah, thanks for watching again. I will, uh, ow. maybe see if I can get another video up next week, uh, depending on workload, because uh, imminently it's the uh, school holidays, and that's when I've got no chance of getting any proper time off. Uh, Due to the way that my work is, you know, it's, it's obviously busier during school holidays. <sighs> yeah.
yeah so see you all on the next one thanks for watching